you know, I took some time off to rest, and now it's game time, bitches. Hey guys, happy Monday. Today is Monday, February 7th, and I haven't spoken to you guys since New Year's. So, girl, I ain't got no excuse. But in my defense, you guys, I haven't actually been MIA. I just haven't been posting vlogs. Do you guys watch YouTube Shorts? I think they only pop up if you're on mobile. But I have been posting, I think I posted four last month, four YouTube Shorts, just showing you guys what I've been up to and what's been keeping me busy, which was staging and organizing. Um, I think, you know, a lot of people use the beginning of the year to make improvements to, you know, their body, their space, whatever. So yeah, staging and organizing is actually busy in January. I've also been posting regularly on my Instagram accounts. You can find me at Tony Daily Official see all of my shenanigans that I'm up to there. Marley has her own page, Marley Daily Official. As you can see, she's been doing just fine. And of course, my decor page, which is daily.decor. If you follow me there, you even notice that I got a new logo. So yeah, I've been working, been here, just not posting vlogs. Did you guys miss me? Miss me, miss me. Now you gotta, come on girl. Come on, girl. You know you wanna. So that's it. All that to say, I've been here just kind of on other platforms. Oh my god, you guys, I even started. You ready for this? A TikTok. I started a TikTok account. And I'm kind of hooked on TikTok. I really enjoy it. Um, I used to always scroll Twitter. Twitter was my last app that I would scroll at night, you know, to wind down. And now it's TikTok. You can find me there at Tony Daily Official as well. I'm definitely glad to be back and what better time to make my reappearance than Black History Month, y'all. Happy Black History Month. I'm wearing my raised fist, fight the power fist, okay? In honor of Black History Month, I actually released this in gold plated. So I have it in sterling silver and gold plated now on my website. TonyDaily.com, girl. You can also find an Nefertiti pendants gold plated on my website. All right, let's head downstairs and um, give you guys some updates. It's been a minute. When's the last time you guys saw my kitchen? It's been a minute, right? Oh my goodness. Welcome back. Plant updates. Zoe is doing well, of course. Um, she's really happy here. I know that I'm going to have to repot her this spring slash summer and I'm terrified because she's just my favorite plant and you know I have a 50-50 success rate with repotting. Um, sometimes they love it, sometimes they don't, but she's getting really really big for her planter. So yeah, we'll see what the spring brings. Here comes Marley. You can see how much snow is in the backyard you guys, we actually have to shovel little trench for her to do her business but yeah we had two major snowstorms back to back so it really added up uh mr d mr d is looking lush and doing great this is a new leaf right here and this is actually a new leaf as well so you guys missed two openings you can see how nice and full he's getting rango is doing well he is blooming like crazy this is my fishbone cactus and um i think i'm gonna give him a trim in the spring and cut all these blooms off it is a sign that he's happy but i noticed that he stopped growing in length so when they bloom the blooms actually like use energy they take energy from the rest of the plant so i think i'm gonna trim them back give him a little haircut and see if i can get him to cascade a bit more 
Can you guys believe Franco? Who was on the verge of death in the summer. He just seems to love winter. I don't know. I have two new stocks. One here, one here. So once those open up, once those open up, he'll look a lot more full. Uh, so he seems to be doing well. And my newest plant. This is Holly the Ho. You guys may remember her from my Ikea trip. Um, I think she's doubled in size. She just sits up on my plant shelf. Everybody else is doing well. So yeah, that's the update with the plants. I took some chicken out last night to de-thaw. So I'm gonna clean and season this for dinner tonight. You know, I really am convinced sometimes that I will be the first person to be nitpicked to death, you guys. <laughs> to death. I consider myself to be a reasonable person and as somebody who is reasonable, if I heard somebody use a word or phrase that I had never heard of before, as a reasonable person, I would look it up. As a reasonable person, what I wouldn't do is contact that person on every single social media platform they have to tell them that they sound dumb. Anyways, let me get this chicken that I took out to dethaw cleaned. All right, my chicken is seasoned. I just seasoned it in a pot because it's only two pieces, two chicken breasts, and I'm gonna pop that in the fridge and cook it later. As you guys can see, the last time I wrote on the chalkboard was perhaps birthday, which we did celebrate during my absence. Her birthday was on January 18th. So I think she's enjoyed the festivities for long enough. Let's get this updated. Damp cloth with water. And we're gonna wipe away the birthday wishes. Hope you had a good one half. And then I take a dry paper towel to wipe it down. And the last thing I do is a couple spritzes of Windex, just cause I like a little bit of shine. Okay, I've got my Crayola chalk here. I think I'm just gonna do, hmm. So what's coming up next? Next would be Valentine's Day. I know it's Black History Month, but I usually use the menu to mark like holidays. So I think I'll go with Valentine's Day. I'm gonna use a couple different colored chalks. So let's go with some candy hearts. I think I'm gonna draw some candy hearts and then just like write words on them that describe the girls and I. Probably should have colored in the uh, edges of the heart, shouldn't I? Ah, this will do. All right, I think it's time for lunch. I'm actually having leftover soup today. Some soup, chicken soup that I made. I'm also gonna have half of this leftover sub. It's a leftover lunch. This is actually my breakfast and lunch. As you can see, it's 2.41. Can you see my reflection? Hey guys. done I have some errands to run but I think I'll save that for later and go and clock in get my work done for the day and uh, I'll catch up with you guys later I managed to get my work done well 
some of it. This is a package I received about a month ago, I think. I know it was around the holidays, but of course I've been MIA. It is from a black owned company called Marcel Levon. There is their information and a coupon code. Normally I like to save this stuff to do a support sister haul, but um, yeah, I don't really have any other products. Haven't been doing much shopping since the holiday season, so nothing new to show you. So I thought I would go ahead and unbox with you. All right, so I got two of these lip colors. This, um, this bright red is in the color Brilliant. And this deep burgundy is in the color Glorious. And, oh, it's a two, I think it's a two in one. The cap comes off and then if you roll it up, it is a liner. And if you twist this part, you have the liquid lip color. So that's pretty cool. Excellent for travel. You don't have to mess around with multiple products and get the perfect matching shade. So I love that idea. Well done. I also got a liquid liner. It has a very, very thin felt tip point. So this should probably be good for me because I don't like the thick ones. I got this lovely lip gloss in the color Jewel. It's a beautiful shimmery kind of pinky peachy color with the blinged out cap. Um, I got one of these, which I've received these before in my last haul. This is Lily. They're liquid matte lip colors. I think I, maybe I didn't get this color, but I've definitely used this formula before. It's very, very long wear, long lasting. And last but not least, in the color Majesty, ooh, a very black mascara. Very exciting. So thank you so much to Marcel Levant for sending these my way. I'm excited to try the new products. Definitely keep an eye out for my upcoming, you know, get ready with me's and gossip and glams and all that girl. Um, like I said, I've tried their long wear lipsticks before, but the eyeliner, mascara, and the two-in-one lip combos, those are all new to me. So I will keep you guys posted. In the meantime, definitely check them out. M-L-L-A-V-O-N.com, discount code TONY15. I actually did a makeup clean out not that long ago, if you guys remember. I feel like I want to do another one. Like, I just feel like I didn't get rid of enough. You guys know me. I just don't like a lot of, I don't like having a lot of things for some reason. It just gives me anxiety. Um, so I might do that. I might go through that again before I put my new lippies away. I might also do a giveaway for some of them. It's good to be back though, guys. I must say, I definitely missed coming on and chatting with you. I was thinking about it and I'm thinking maybe I'll continue 2022 with two uploads a week. Last year, I did three uploads a week. I used to upload Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But my biggest complaint from you guys is that my vlogs are too short. So I figured I could condense, you know, instead of uploading two vlogs a week, which typically are between 10 to 15 minutes in length, I could just, you know, combine them and upload one vlog a week, which is 20 to 30 minutes. Then that would satiate all of you who cannot stand shorter vlogs. So yeah, let me know what you think, if you'd prefer that or not. Right now it is 6.30 in the PM. Oh, did I show you guys my nails? Aren't they beautiful? If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen these multiple times because I'm obsessed. Okay, are you good? You had a good pee? You had a good pee and poo? Good girl. Good girl, you had a good pee and poo? Feel light now? Do you feel light, Marley? Oh my goodness. She feels light, girl. Fancy free. It is much later in the evening and I have placed an Instacart order. So it's gonna be a little grocery haul. I got a bag of flour. I did not mean to get such a large one, but it's whatever. I got some jalapenos. I got this um, shredded chicken by Maple Leaf. 
I thought that would be easy to just like toss with some peppers and make like some lettuce wraps or something. So that'll probably be lunch tomorrow. Why did I get this huge thing of cream? Oh my God. A bag of frozen vegetables. Like honestly guys, I'm pretty sure I selected the small size of everything, but this guy got the huge size of everything. I'm gonna have to check my receipt because that's the problem when you get guy shoppers is they're not really good at replacements. They just be picking anything. I got some romaine lettuce, some scallions, some rice cakes. These are actually for half. She loves rice cakes. I, on the other hand, can do without them. Some garlic. Ooh, something for Marley. Oh my goodness, Marley, you got a new treat. They're called soft and chewy... Oh, no, soft and chewy milk bones. She's never had these before. And a huge red onion. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start on my dinner now. So, I'm going to take this chicken out that I seasoned earlier. Not really sure what I'm making with it yet, but for sure... <laughs> For sure, I'm gonna have to use some of these mixed vegetables because I did not, I'm pretty sure I did not order a two kilo bag. I think he just replaced it because the small one wasn't available, but this is huge. Like I can't even put it in my freezer, so I'm gonna use up some of this. This is just seasoned with salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, um, poultry seasoning, paprika, and adobo. They're pretty big pieces. Probably only needed one. Well, that's okay. See, my freezer is really full. So I need to cook something in here. <laughs> uh, how about this? Let's get rid of a pack of cauliflower rice. Here's my dinner guys. I made pretty much cauliflower chicken fried rice. Um, it's not real rice so it's not absorbent like white rice. So I'm just gonna wait until I'm ready to eat to put it together so it doesn't just turn into mush. But it tastes really good. You alright Marley? She hurt herself somehow. It tastes really good so I just added a little bit of soy sauce to the cauliflower rice and yeah lots of seasoning to the chicken mix, chicken veg mix. This is how much I have left. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in smaller bags. There we go. Lots of veggies. 